What's up, my friends? DK here. Welcome to the channel. If you want to get results like this with Mailing Boss, you know, 25 plus percent open rates, one to two percent click through rates with your daily broadcasts, make sure you watch this video all the way through. I'm going to share just a really super simple hack that I do to make sure and just kind of an extra piece of validation that the emails are landing in the inbox. And we're talking Gmail here. So landing in the primary folder you know not spam and definitely not the promo folder because believe it or not there is a difference now there there are certain autoresponders that will tell you oh you know if an email lands in promo it's really not that bad but i think that's a bunch of bs myself if your emails land in promo versus the primary folder realistically there's about a 10 percent difference in open rate so this email here this was mostly primary but if this landed in promo Instead of a 26% open rate, this would be more like a 16% open rate. And a 16% open rate with a with a you know a standard broadcast email out to thousands and thousands of people, realistically is not bad. But what would you rather have? 26% open rate or 16% open rate? I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer question. So here's something that I do on a day-to-day -day basis as I'm as I'm queuing up. Uh, and sending emails out. I'll show you a process that I go through and you can literally apply it to. It's really simple, really easy. Uh, it just takes an extra couple seconds as you're queuing up your emails and you're getting ready to go out, okay? So first and foremost, before we jump into that really quick, uh, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to Mailing Boss, if you're new to Builderall, uh, <clears throat> if you're looking for tips, tricks, techniques, things to you know, get more emails in the inbox, how to use Builderall, how to use Mailing Boss over on my channel. Be sure to subscribe, smash that subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notified anytime I post new content here on my channel. If you go over to my channel, you're going to see this series right here. It's called Easy Business Automation, right? And this is all using Builderall and Mailing Boss. I walk you through literally step by step, day by day, how to set stuff up. I have special tips in here you know if those of you guys have been around with mailing boss or builder bar builder all for a little while i show you some of the differences between 4.0 and 5.0 uh, with mailing boss lots of different mailing boss hacks uh guaranteed in inbox delivery using tags setting up automations or workflows all of those things are all in here there's literally tons and tons of videos that you can go and learn how to get all of the inside tips and scoops that have been helpful for me uh, using Mailing Boss for almost a year now. So I hope this is helpful to you. This is all free. You can go check it out uh, whenever you want, but be sure to obviously watch this video all the way through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how literally I get every single email. I would probably say 98 to 99% of all the emails that I send out in the primary folder. So we're not even talking the promo folder. We're definitely not talking about spam. Okay, <clears throat> there's a little thing I do when I go to queue up the email before I send it out. Okay, so what that basically looks like is this. So we can get results like this. I just showed you guys, you know, 26% open rate there. Uh, today is the 28th. So this email literally went out yesterday. Uh, you can see here I have a 22.8, almost 23% open rate there. Two, almost a two and a half percent click through rate. If you don't know and understand click through rate, Anything over 1% is pretty good. Anything over 2%, you know, you're killing it. You're do, you're doing a really good job, especially in the make money online niche, okay? If you're in that niche, affiliate marketing, network marketing, anything over a 2% click-through rate, I mean, you're doing really, really well, okay? So there's two specific things that I'm gonna go over with you in this video, some things that you guys can just kind of do and apply into your email marketing with Mailing Boss and Builder All. And it, honestly, any autoresponder. I mean, you can apply what I'm going to teach you in this video to Active Campaign or Get Response or Aweber. It really doesn't matter. Okay. But every time I go to queue up an email, there's there's certain things that I do. Okay. There's certain things that I do to verify and validate that before the email queues up and before it gets sent out. So you can see right here, I have three pending emails that are going to go out. Uh, two tonight, one tomorrow morning. Uh, those are pending and like ready to roll, right? But before I actually queue those up and I schedule them, there's one specific thing that I do, again, to verify that I know for sure the email is gonna land in the primary folder. And that is this right here. So let me go ahead and show, you know what I'll do? I'll just use a, um, I'll use a previous email 
uh, that I've sent out. And what I'll do is I'll queue it up. I'll just duplicate it and queue it up uh, so you can see. Okay, so I'm not going to go writing a new email from scratch, but I can still show you the same exact process. So I'm just going to duplicate an email here. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go update this or edit this here. And just so I know for my own sake, I'm just going to call this uh, YT test demo. Okay, we're just going to change that. So I know that in case I see this email later on, I know why I did it. All right, now here we go. So once you get to here, like you go ahead, you write your email, you know, name, your obviously your from name, your subject line, you put your copy in there, you put your links in there, all that other stuff, right? Then you move to the next page. Now on the confirmation page, before you actually queue this up, so before I go in here and I schedule this and figure, okay, when do I want to send this email out, right? Obviously you can send a test. Here's where this is important, okay? Here's where this is important. This is what you want to do before you officially queue up the email to go out. So not only do you always want to send a test and you send a test for a very specific reason. You want to validate and verify that the email lands in the primary folder. But there's a but to that. There's a little caveat to that. What I always do is I send out three, yes, three test emails to three different Gmail accounts. Now, here's why. Just because it lands in one folder and one account does not mean that it's going to land in a primary folder in other accounts, okay? So what I like to see is I like to see it hit the primary folder in all three Gmail accounts. So what I do is I have my emails saved. I and I've talked about this in another video. I literally just take three different Gmails right here. I have them saved on a doc. So when I go to queue it up, I literally just copy it. I paste it, you drop it in there. You can have your different emails in there as long as they're separated by a comma. And then you queue them up and you send them out. So what we're gonna look for here is we're gonna check those three Gmail accounts and make sure that in each one, that email is landing in the primary folder. So there's the ding, there's a notification. Boom, I'm gonna come over here, just gonna refresh that. And then boom, you can see it right there. Primary, not promo, not social, landing in the primary. So boom, good to go right there. Now we'll go over this other email, uh, Gmail account here. I'm gonna refresh that, boom primary good to go we're going to go over to one more and then boom there it is just like that so again occasionally what could happen is you could be queuing up an email you can get ready to send it out you can go to test it out and you can realize that hey it landed it either a landed in promo in one account and you know primary in another you want to be testing multiple different gmail accounts just to make sure that it's going to land in primary in all of them do that before you send your email out that way, I mean, you're, I don't want to say you're guaranteed, but you're almost guaranteed that when that email queues up and goes out, it's going to be slamming that primary folder. More and more eyeballs are getting on your email, more and more opens, more and more clicks, etc. Okay. So yes, it can happen where it doesn't hit in all three. And that's why I like to do at least, you can, I think you can send out at least five test emails at once, but I like to do at least three. Okay. So that's what I do to ensure that before I queue up an email, before I save it and schedule it to go out, I just test and make sure that in at least multiple Gmail accounts, it's going to hit that primary folder. Now, why Gmail? Why not Yahoo or MSN or Hotmail? Gmail makes up for at least 85% of everybody that's on your email list. It's a documented fact. Okay. Gmail subscribers will make up approximately 85% of your email list. So I put most of my attention into Gmail. That's also why I use, and I've explained this in other videos, that's also why I use something like uh, Google Postmaster to be sure that I'm looking at IP reputation, I'm looking at domain reputation. I've covered this in another video. As a matter of fact, I think if you go over here to this, um, secret inbox tool, this one right here, Mailing Boss 5.0 secret inbox tool, this, video right here explains more about Google Postmaster and why you want to be using it to measure your IP reputation, your domain reputation, uh, your spam scores, and doing that specifically with Gmail. Now, one more tip inside this video. What I would do, 
and this is this is again this is what i do you can decide to do whatever you want here is i give myself kind of like a measuring stick a bar where if i have emails that are say over a 20% open rate, maybe over a 25% open rate, over a certain click-through rate. In other words, emails that perform really, really well. What I like to do is I save those emails. I actually have a spreadsheet right here, and these are all of my, what I call them like heaters or killer subject lines, killer from names, killer subject lines that I've used over the past uh, that have performed really, really well. I even keep track of certain emails that net me sales. So I know if I send an email out and it nets me sales, like I'm gonna save that subject line and I'm gonna reuse that email later on down the road. So basically I create a spreadsheet and you can see like, I mean, look at some of these, some of these open rates here, you know, 27% all the way up to 33% uh, open rates. I mean, killer click-through rates. These emails, these are, these are just money makers. These emails, the from name, the subject line, th these are money makers, 100%. So, when I get a good subject line that gets a lot of opens, that email that gets a lot of clicks, I'm saving that here on the spreadsheet. So that way, when I go to write emails down the road, whenever I need an idea, if I need to like think of a quick idea, a quick subject line, a from name, if I'm trying to get creative, I just reference that spreadsheet and boom, it just gives me great ideas. So all I do, you know, as an example, if I look at uh, today, Check this out. I look at the open rate. I look at the click through rate and I always do this 24 hours after I send the email. Okay. 24 hours after I send the email out. That's when I come back here. And if I like the numbers that I see, it's really simple. I literally just copy the subject line. You know, you get the from name right here. I copy the subject line. I would come back over here and then I would go and I would just put, you know, the date that I sent it. I would put the from name. I would take the subject line. I would paste that in there. And then I would just put the open rate and the click through rate. And it's as simple as that. So just keeping track of your emails that are performing well. So that way you can certainly go back to those time and time again, and you can reuse them, you know, a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month later after you sent it out the first time. And you can keep reuse at the end of the day, as long as that email is getting opens and it's getting clicks and it's performing well, you can reuse that email as many times as you need to. Okay. So those are my two tips for, you know, kind of some inbox secret sauce and really hitting that primary folder, especially in Gmail. So I hope you got value out of this video. If you watch this video till this point, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. Please do me a favor. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, ring the bell and get notified anytime I post new content here on my channel. If you have any questions about, you know, what I do full time, if you have any questions about mailing boss, builder all, any of that stuff, do me a favor, uh, drop a comment down below and let me know. A lot of these videos that I make for he, for you here on this series as part of this builder all tutorial and, and review series here, a lot of these videos, a lot of these this content idea actually comes from you guys. So you guys will pop a comment and say, hey, can you shoot a video up at this? Hey, I have a question on this and I'll turn around and I'll make a piece of content on it. So if you have any questions in regards to mailing boss or builder all, uh, do me a favor, drop a comment down below. And if it's something that needs to be made into a video, I will 100% do that. So appreciate you. Thank you guys for watching. Again, please smash that subscribe button and I will see you my friend on the next video. Take care.